Hello Noble Ones, welcome back to my channel, this is the Metatron speaking. Today we're going to talk about Noble Ones. Throughout history, human society has had various intricate models of social class distinction, the most famous of which is probably nobility, which ranked immediately under royalty, membership thereof being typically hereditary. And I believe that most people, particularly people like you and me who are interested in medieval society, are quite familiar with terms and titles such as Duke, Count, Earl, Baron, etc. But the point I'm trying to draw here is, if you were asked right now to make a scale of importance of medieval nobility, would you be able to do it? No, really. Let's consider these three titles. Earl, Duke and Count. Would you be able to put them in order of importance? Well, if you want to try, why don't you write your answer in the comments below. The purpose of this video, however, is purely educational. I will only present plain historical facts. I will not indulge myself into deep discussions about topics such as human rights or human uh, equality, which are all a very important concept, of course, which I uh, strongly syndicate, but that in this case will be a enough topic, so to speak. Hence, if you are a knowledgeable individual who has already a profound knowledge of medieval and feudal uh, nobility, then you might find this video rather tedious, for which I apologise profusely. But for the others, let's get started. Now, as you know, I'm very keen on teaching Roman history, and I reckon that it would be pertinent to do so, even in this case, because the term nobility originates in ancient Rome from the Latin word nobilitas, which is the abstract noun of the adjective nobilis. It was an informal designation of the political governing class, the gentes, singular gens, a family, individuals sharing the same nomen, claiming a common ancestor. Roman gentes would normally be divided in two categories, the patricians and the plebeian. The patricians, which derived from the city fathers, thus being more important, were themselves divided again into different kinds, being gentes maiores, the major families, and gentes minores, the minor families. Now, from a social-political point of view, we don't know for certain whether there was a, a big distinction between gentes maiores and gentes minores, but we do know that most likely the speaker of the Senate, the princeps senatus, was chosen from a member of a gens maiores. Now, to explain in few words the social relevance of these gentes within Roman society, we can say that they were similar to a state within a state. So each gens had its own religious rights, its own political rules, etc. But during the imperium, so during the imperial time, the power and social relevance of these gentes became virtually inexistent. But with the fall of the Western Roman Empire the, and the beginning of medieval times, nobility gains back its power and social relevance. Now, in medieval feudal uh, times, so within the feudal system for instance, uh, the nobility were those who held fief under vassalage, idest in exchange for allegiance, for the most part military services, for a monarch or a higher ranking nobleman. It is obvious that in modern times a noble status which formerly conferred significant privileges has become largely honorary, exception being the UK and the Netherlands. But nobility has to be considered as a historical social legal notion which has nothing whatsoever to do with a high social economic status based on income. Wealth does not ipso facto make someone noble. So, we have again two different kinds of nobility. Inherited 
and comfort. And a good example of these is France. Now in France we have wealthy members of the bourgeois who were ennobled by the king. So creating the noblesse des robes, or in English the nobility of the gown, as opposed to the nobility of the sword, la noblesse d'épée, so mainly landed and knightly nobility, who strongly opposed the pretensions of this parvenu nobility. So another way to describe this nobility of the gown is aristocrats holding rank from their administrative posts. Now this brings us to our next linguistic point, the word aristocrat. Now this one is different from noble, because in this case it can mean two things, elevated social status coming from hereditary nobility or moneyed upper class. So moving to the scale of nobility, we begin from the gentleman. We move to the esquire, the knight, the hereditary knight, the baronet, baron, viscount, and then we move to the path that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the counts and the earls. Earl is more of an Anglo-Saxon title, at least in origin, which at the beginning of English history, or medieval England, it was akin to the, to the title of Duke, which is a very high title and we will see in a minute. But towards the late medieval England, it was akin to the European count, hence its position in this list. The Anglo-Saxon title of Earl originated from the Scandinavian title of Jarl, which could be translated as Chieftain. The title of a Jarl was that of a duke in Europe. So it, very, it was a very high title of a person governing a certain territory in the stead of a king. This is where titles that we hear in video games, for example, Earl in Dragon Age Origins comes from, or Jarl in Skyrim. I would personally consider them to be dukes in Skyrim and counts, so late medieval earls in Dragon Age. The Scandinavian title Jarl will become obsolete in medieval times and will be replaced by the term Duke. We then move to Marcus, Sovereign Prince, Duke, Prince or Infante in Portugal and Spain, Grand Prince, Grand Duke, Archduke, King and Emperor. Alright then, as a general video about this very deep topic, I think that this is good for today. I hope that you enjoyed it and if you did, please thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel for more content from the Metatron. I will make many more videos, if you would like me to do so, about this topic and perhaps I was considering making one video per each noble rank or noble title. So a video for the Count, a video for the Earl, a video for the Jarl, a video for the... Uh, Emperor, Duke, etc. If you like this idea, please let me know in the comments below. For now, thank you very much for watching, and remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. Goodbye.